Well, it's a nice Saturday afternoon here in Washington. And we're here today to pick up this thing. Now, if you've watched any of my vids, this is that one and a half ton farm truck. And uh, I think in three months or so we had it, to, we chopped it all up and put it back together with Impala for front and rear frame graphs. And uh, so it's been sitting here for three months with no work at all done to it. So we're gonna take it over to Krusty's garage. Start getting the final stuff done. This guy wants to drive this thing. We bought this thing for $200, the truck, and uh, I had everything. And the guy that lives, the guy whose house is sitting at now had shit too. So me and him combined our stuff and put this truck together for $300 so far, except for the back rims. And the tires came from Summit and shit. 12 inch wide. Multi-bolt pattern. They were 600 bucks for the pair. So we got $900 in this thing. What the fuck you want, you whining bitch? No. I am gonna sue. You can't get blood out of a turnip, so. Bullshit. Can somewhere. I can get car parts out of a turnip. Yeah. You know? <laughs> anyway, this is what we're picking up today, eh? Hey, buddy? Come a long way. Shane's though. truck, huh? Come a long way. What do you think, no dude? farm truck anymore, man. Oh, it doesn't awesome. look like, it looks like some goddamn thing off Mad Max yeah, now. Man, I don't know what to be. Awesome. These are your stands, yeah? Yeah. She looked good, man. I'm gonna take it over and make this. I like how the back sits. I can't turn the compressor on, dude. Well, let's take it. We'll put it. It's got air in it. Fuck it. Let's do it. What's that? It's got enough air in it. Let's just put it on. I need to back up some more, though. We did it. We did it. Looks good, man. Look. Fucking had to fucking cram the fenders together to get it on there. Much tighter than that, dude. Yeah, it's actually touching as we speak. But as you can see, the fender has been thoroughly hammered anyway, so now it's our turn to fuck it up. The other one took a little more pinching. What was already tore up? I'm not sure. Okay, now this is a, a YouTube Jeez, fucking pole. Yes, Should he yes. weld the fender or just let it flop in the wind? Come on now, everybody. Stitches. Give us an answer. We need some welded stitches. Frankie's this thing would look badass going 80 miles an hour that fucking yeah. tin flopping around, dude. Yeah, get over here. yeah buddy. Got it on yeah. there. Got her on the trailer. Ready to go take her and get some stogies, brother. Yeah. And then we take it out to the house and try and get it off the trailer. Well, we made it to the store. Yeah, it didn't fall off the trailer. Now we tried a new thing putting front fenders on the back and it looks kind of funny, but when we're done it won't. But we, that was enabled us to put huge meats on the back. It looks badass underneath, dude. Man, fuck yeah. Get that shit all cleaned up and rattle can the fuck out of it after we're Spray done. It all black. Yep. Fuck yeah. Get one of them covers for the rear end. You can get gold and chrome ones and shit. Slap <laughs> one of those over there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man, that's gonna be the fun shit, doing all those little detail, rat rotted out, man. Fuck yeah, but we just get it running and driving and shit, and that shit you can do as you yeah, go along, you know? Man. Give it, yeah, absolutely. Like I did on my rat, kept improving over the fucking years. Finally said, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> that tranny cross member's gotta go. That thing's gonna it's fucking way too speed low. bumps and everything. You think we can just shorten it or what? I, know I don't way. know. We'll get in there and look at it. It'd be probably better just to make one out of two by three. Just make Kubies. it one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Just cut some flat bar to right. set the tranny on and the, and the fucking rubber mount. And right. Just make a new one. Then it'd be sucked up there. Then you would have absolute cool ground clearance, dude. Oh, I'll be catching that thing a lot. Yeah, those are some fatty meats. Steelies. Thanks, Summit. Is that where you got them at, Summit? Yep, Cooper Cobras, man. Look at, they're already dirty. Hell yeah. Look at that petite. 
getting patina on the wheels too. Brand new rubber, man. I know, I can hardly wait to do a burnout. I know it. Now, we're gonna have to come up with something in here. Maybe. Just a oh, little yeah. filler oh, yeah. pad. Oh, yeah. Just some yeah, just sheet metal, you know? We'll figure something out. Just something to fill something back cool gap. would be cool too with vent louvers in it. There you go. That'd there be cooler than fuck. Go. We got that Volkswagen oh, fender at my house. We can cut the fucking louvers that out. That frame wasn't right there. We put the pipes out right there. I want to turn your whole fucking fender I black. Right here, I think we'd come out at an angle right here and cut an oval shaped hole and stick the end of that See, super trap. This side, dude, how we put the exhaust like. That's what I was thinking too. Like race cars, how they put the fucking flange around it. Something like that, where it comes out, that trap comes out at it comes an angle. Out point. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we just fucking weld, uh, weld the pipe in there. It's bigger around than the trap. That way, it'll fucking have a little tunnel. I can go in and just yeah. make sure it's not hitting anything. Yeah. I can't believe it's that fucking farm truck, dude. I know. The fenders look badass from the front. They look wacky as fuck from the back, but when you get right here, they look fucking mean as shit. I like how they match the stock. Made it. We made it. It's in Krusty's garage now. We've already been working on it a little bit, playing around with some shit. Getting some good ideas, brothers and sisters, so we will keep you updated on this one. $300 invested so far. Later.